The Metro is next, and as if <laughs> things couldn't get any worse for Russian soldiers, they have, Leo. Yeah, so this is uh, the Russian troops that are withdrawing from Chernobyl. Uh, it's one of, the, one of the areas in the north of uh, the Ukraine uh, where the Russian troops are being pulled out so they can focus on um, uh, easier places to, to conquer. <laughs> um, <laughs> like so, Wales. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so um, Chernobyl, of course, had the nuclear uh, power disaster in 1986, I think it was. So they had a complete meltdown and, uh, you know, the, the large area is contaminated. There's still a lot of contamination in the area. So when the troops went in, they, um, I mean, it's, it's kind of kind of fun. The Moscow's forces, I mean, not that radiation poisoning is ever funny, but if there was a time it was funny, it's this. Cause, so Moscow's forces occupied the Chernobyl site in the first days of the invasion. And for a time, they prevented staff that were maintaining uh, the facilities there and, and stopping the radiation from uh, from getting out. Uh, they stopped them from, from going in there. And so while they were there, uh, and staff at the, at the site actually described the invading troops as being on a suicide mission because they had no anti-radiation equipment, their vehicles, their clothes weren't anti-radiation. Um, so they're just there, the radiation levels rise with no staff to, to keep them down, and now they're irradiated and they're being sent back to, to Russia where they'll probably hug people. So what, and they just walked into a forest, they saw the nuclear power station, they're like, what's that? It's almost as if nobody it's really... Like that. The, it's, it's almost as if nobody thought this through. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, it's, it is the most famous nuclear disaster yeah. that the world has ever known. You would think that one of these guys with all these military accolades, they, when they put the map out, they're like, well, you know, that place. Yeah, they're just, it's at not least just any woods. There should be a Haskem, Haskem sign outside it or something. Yeah.